G'day! This is a follow-up to a previous video I did on how to set up LVUI for beginner users. Today I'd like to take a look at how you can actually tweak the UI to uh, make it look a little bit different from the default one. Maybe it suits you better depending on what your class role is. So I'm going to try a few different layouts here, some that'll be good for tanks, some that might be good for DPS, and some that might be good for healers. Hopefully they inspire you. Uh, if you want to copy these, you're very welcome to. I'll also show you the, the move UI layout so you can see where everything is positioned. And I'll talk about the different changes that I made to things like the, the player UI or the, the raid frames and stuff like that. So the first layout that we've got here is kind of a, a narrow appearance to it and I've tweaked a few things. I've moved the action bars, I've deactivated a lot of them. There's only three action bars visible. So there's one in the bottom left hand corner, one in the bottom right hand corner and one block in the middle which is my primary action bar. I would also populate these with all of my spells so that we didn't have any of these uh, empty boxes. Uh, empty buttons rather. I changed the health bars to make them a bit narrower and I moved them more centrally in, in my, on my screen and in between them is the target of target. Uh, in addition to that, also tweaked the chat boxes just to make the backdrops transparent and finally the raid frames and party frames sit down the bottom which I'll show you in a second. So for the move UI can see where everything is laid out. So pet frame comes underneath the player frame. I haven't positioned the pet bar. To be honest, I would probably put the pet bar either directly underneath bar one or maybe make them really small and attach them somewhere next to the pet, the pet frame. Totally up to you. The party frames, the red frames, as I said, they're anchored down the bottom. And in terms of things like DBM, I would probably have DBM sitting on the side or potentially even in this little uh, hole here, shall we say. Could probably squeeze it in there. The rest of this uh, boss button kind of in the middle mode bar, in the middle of my screen rather, just because I like it screaming at me. Raid frames, uh, sorry, red pet frames, main assist and main tank. I don't use those, so I've just left them where they are, but you might need to position those as well. With the things that I tweaked in the action bars, I made the button spacing one, so they're tighter, and there's also no backdrop enabled. So as I said, one, three, and uh, five are activated, those three action bars. I also, with bar three and bar five, I changed the buttons per row to 12, and also 12 buttons, because it defaults to six. With bar one, I change the buttons per row to six, that's how you get the two rows, and again, showing all 12 buttons. So which whichever bars you use are totally up to you, you don't have to use one, three, five, I just did because that's where my, um, my default spells are sitting. With the chat, as I mentioned, I made the, the uh, backdrop transparent, so to do that, you just need to go to the chat tab, scroll down to where it says panels, and it's the lock panel, tab panel, transparency. What we're looking for is panel backdrop, and there's a drop down underneath that that says hide both. So instead of having the big black boxes, you've got uh, transparent boxes. With the unit frames now, uh, I went into player frame, and I changed the health to make it a little bit narrower. So I had 35 here. I also changed the power to reduce that to six, I could make it smaller still. And, excuse me, with the portrait, I enabled portrait and chose overlay, and then you can change the camera distance scale to whatever you prefer. I kind of like having quite a big player frame. It gives it sort of a nice color range, I suppose. With the party frames now, they're anchored down the bottom. And I changed a couple of things. I again made them narrower than the default. I also changed the debuff indicators. So they are now anchored to the top of the frame. And I did a size override of 28 just to get them a little bit smaller. I don't have buffs enabled, so they're the only things that pop up. With the raid frames, so 40 man raid frames, they sit down the bottom. I changed the groups per row. So this is under general groups per row slash column. I changed it to two instead of one. That's how you get 10 across instead of five. And with 25 player, it looks a little bit derpy. I'm not 100% happy with it because you've got this blank section here, but you could probably 
uh, if it bothers you, I'm sure you could tweak it to, to some other um, presentation that suits your tests. But that's basically it for the first one. So if you got lost at any point, feel free to just go back through this section and pause, unpause the video, and you should be able to copy the settings that I have. But as I said, feel free to use this as inspiration rather than just to copy it, and hopefully you get something that you're happy with. So let's have a look at the next one. This next one is slightly bigger. It's more of a focus on uh, big cooldowns and abilities that you, you want to keep track of. So probably better for a healer type of character. I'm saying that with a funny voice because um, thinking of where I positioned the party frames, it's probably not the best place you'd have to tweak those to um, move them a little bit closer to your abilities. But certainly if there are things that are, have very short cooldowns and you want to maintain uh, you want to track those, this would be a nice layout for that. I've got some sort of slightly longer cooldowns and then my longest cooldowns and buffs would be down the bottom. So I've got at the moment lots of uh, empty bars because I'm just using my default my default layout so um, just ignore the fact that there's all these empty strange looking bars. The things that I tweaked for this one, I left the chat boxes as is this, this time. I have activated three action bars and I also reduced the number of buttons that are visible in two of them and I also changed the health bars a little bit and the power bar just for something different. I've also moved the cast bar so if I get out of bear form and I cast Healing Touch, you notice that it's directly above my um, main action bar here. So in terms of where everything is positioned, let's have a look at uh, Move UI. And you can see that I've got the pet frame, oh, this tooltip thing, pet frame is directly underneath the player frame. I've got the target of target frame just above the target frame. I will need to fix that target cast bar, make it the same size as the target frame. Once again, button two, uh, bar 2 and bar 6 are just over there because they're deactivated, as is bar 4. And once again, for pet bar, I would probably put this possibly underneath bar 3, depends on if I'm going to be doing 40 man rating or not. And I think that's probably the main things. You could probably reposition uh, the boss bar and I'd probably maybe use i move my focus frame over here, um, that might look a little bit better if I can nudge it without highlighting every other bar that I don't want to touch. Okay, so with what I tweaked in the player frame, all I did was, um, I think, I left the health as is, but I did change the power. So in the power option you've got a style. And there are three different versions. You can have the field, which is the one that I had previously. You've also got an inset option, and then you've got this spaced option, which gives a nice little smaller, smaller version of the uh, power bar, mana, health, that kind of thing. Sorry, mana, focus, rage. With the raid frames, I've actually left them as uh, one group. So instead of doing the two groups, per column. I just did one group per column and now they're stacked vertically. I did have to make the 25 man uh, narrower so that they're not as high and I made the uh, power bars a little bit smaller as well. For the 40 man raid I did a similar thing so I just there's no power bars with this one but they just take up more of that space between the two action bars and finally with the party frames I did the same thing as last time so they're a little bit narrower I would probably maybe tweak a little bit more so it's perfectly in line with this or maybe make this a little bit bigger and then I think it would look pretty good I do kind of like the stepped approach it's one of the reasons why my cast bar is uh, a little bit longer than my action bar just to make it sort of fit the theme I guess you could say with the action bars themselves so as I mentioned I only have three activated in this case I've got one, three and five. With bar one I changed the buttons to six visible and I increased the button size to 52. I also enabled the backdrop. The button spacing itself is four just to give it a little bit more of a breathing room I guess you could say. With bar three there are nine buttons on this one so this is the one that's directly underneath here. Button size is 32, button spacing is two. So nine buttons and doesn't matter how many buttons per row are visible as long as it's more than nine, nine or more. And for the one that's down the bottom here, that's just the default. I would probably actually turn on backdrop for that one as well, just to make it consistent with everything else. So those are 
I think that's everything for this one, I'm pretty sure, so let's have a look at the next one. The next one here is more of a focus, I guess, on a raiding layout. It doesn't work as well in five mans because you have to kind of resize the bars to make them fit the, the profile. But what this is kind of aiming for is that you have all of your information in a strip across the bottom and you've got more of a, a horizontal almost a, a movie type cinematic cutting. <laughs> um, the damage meters are going to go in between the, the chat and the action bars. So again there's only three action bars enabled and just to fill in the space above the top, in my case I just put in bags and shapeshift but you could put in cooldowns in there, maybe an extra action bar if you wanted to. And then on the left side I've got damage meter and on the right side I've got a healing meter and then on the far right side in the corner this is what the raid layout would look like. So I've actually deactivated the tab panel, uh, sorry, the, the, the backdrop for the right chat. So it's only displaying the left chat. And then you get this transparent uh, background, basically, to the, the raid frames. With the target and the player frame, I just changed it a little bit. So I had the, the third option, I've got the inset mana bar in this case and an overlay and the target is just a plain one again with the inset and target of target is just in between so with the move ui once again just so you can see what we've got i've got pet frame is actually going to be nudged down a little bit should be in line with uh the player frames and with the focus frame that'll be in line i have uh just the 40 man raid frame set up. I haven't set up the party frames or the other one. You'd have to tweak those to try and fit them into this profile. As I said, it's a little bit difficult. You probably have to do horizontal player frames. Uh, maybe have target of target, uh, target, you know, party targets underneath, cast bars, debuffs, something like that to fill it in. And with everything else, it's just basically trying to squish everything down the bottom. Also, class bar has been disabled. And the chat bars are a little bit. Uh, a little bit wider, the chat panels. So very quickly what we've got in here, as I mentioned, so the, the panel backdrop in the chat panels is left only, and I've made the width 500, and I've stuck in the damage meters, just I've stretched those to fit in this space. The three action bars is 12, so there's 12 buttons displayed on one row, and again I've got the three action bars that I'm using, so in my case one, three, and five. So with three and five, because they default to six buttons, I had to change them to 12. Size is the same, I also enabled the backdrop. That is, I think, about it in terms of tweaking. This one isn't too hard to do, especially if you've tried the other ones. And let's go on to the next one. This last layout here is more geared toward a healer. It's probably one that I'm going to use when I finally get my little Horde alt, her off-spec gear, because at the moment she's a boosted tune, so she's only got fair, uh, guardian gear. So I'm slowly getting her some healing stuff, uh, and I think this is probably the layout I'm going to use for her once she gets to that point. So this is kind of, it starts a horizontal layout and it builds downwards, so it's not quite as blocky, I guess. Well, I mean it's blocky, but it's not quite as you know overwhelming as, as the previous layout. The action bars that I've got, I've got three action bars, I've made them smaller, given them a backdrop and then moved them closer together so they look like they're one big bar. With the auras, they're actually aura bars and they're underneath. So they'll build up underneath as there's more, um, more buffs and whatnot. With the cast bar you'll notice that that sits underneath here and then the party frames and raid frames actually build themselves underneath it. So you can have you know a row of aura bars and then you have your your raid buffs in between. So with the move UI let's have a quick look at that. So I've got the pet frame over on the left hand corner. Once again if you happen to be a healer with a pet bar or a hunter who just likes the layout uh, putting that somewhere would be something you'd have to decide if you wanted to maybe put it above one of these bars perhaps or above the middle that might look quite nice alternatively um, with the the focus frame I probably move the focus frame a little bit probably make it a little bit more in line with this just to make it sort of fit that um, 
that vertical line there. Target frame just sits on the side. Again, bar 6 and bar 2 and bar, far, bar 4 are all deactivated. And as I mentioned, the raid frames and party frames build themselves underneath the cast bar. So having a look at these ones, let's have a quick look at what they look like. So the party frames, again it's designed for the cast bar in mind, so it looks a bit weird without the cast bar going. And the debuffs are underneath. So I made those again a little bit narrower and I just changed the size of the debuffs and limited it to two instead of three, but you can have as many as you like. With the raid frames, so this is 25 man, a uh, little bit bigger and they, they drop a little bit lower. And then also the 40 man raid frames, so that's the, the maximum amount of space that you're going to get in there. And once again, it builds itself underneath the casper. Finally, with the uh, raid frame, sorry, the uniframes of player frame. This one, as I said, the cast bar is just in here. I had to make it a little bit longer. It's the default height. I just changed the width to 409. And then I've put the two health bars, uh, player and target bar, just to the side of those. I think it's like two or three pixels across, something like that. The portraits, I turned on portraits. I didn't enable the overlay, so now you've got the, the box on the left-hand side. It defaults to the right with the, the target. So again, I just set it up with my player frame and then I copied it to the target frame. Uh, with the power bar I did the inset option as mentioned before and uh, let me just turn off that cast bar. So with the action bars the three that I have activated once again are one three and five and I've got 12 buttons and 12 rows the button size here is 23 and button spacing is three and I've turned on the backdrop for these as well just to make them look a little bit nicer the rest of this I think is pretty much covered so um, I'd probably maybe tweak the the chat a little bit more because I do as I, I've mentioned before I do like to have a slightly bigger chat because I have a bigger font because my monitor is a bit further away and I'm blind um, Not really, but you know what I mean? So all of that kind of little, A little bit of finicking left to go, but generally I'm quite happy with it. So um, That's about it. These are just a few of the ones that I've come up with it took me maybe about an hour to do all of these and to record it and to re-record it when I had planes going over my head but thank you very much for watching I'd love to see your layouts as well if you've uh, tweaked some of these or you've got your own that you prefer please I would love to see them if you just tweet them at me my username is at hist on Twitter and um, yeah I'd, I'd love to see them unfortunately you can't link them in the YouTube comments because I get a lot of spam so those all get filtered and deleted automatically but as I said Twitter is the way to go send it to me so I can have a perv and um, yeah we can get some creativity flowing that's about it thank you very much for watching enjoy the rest of your morning day afternoon evening whatever the case may be and we'll hopefully see you on Twitter